Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jeanette. I want to show you a dish I made earlier today called kitchery. Kitchery is an Ayurvedic dietary staple. It's a delicious rice and beans dish that's loaded with spices and vegetables, and I'm completely obsessed with it. I first discovered kitchery when I was doing my Ayurvedic yoga teacher training because my instructor would occasionally make a pot of this and bring it in for us for lunch. And she did three different versions of this to correspond to the different doshas in Ayurveda or the mind-body con constitutions. These are called vata, pitta, and kapha. So she did different versions to help balance out that particular dosha, which meant that the spices and the ingredients changed a little bit. But I loved all three versions of this and I was on a mission to learn how to make kitchery. What I discovered in doing my research online and in my cookbooks is that there are many different ways to make kitchery. The spices can be changed, the vegetables can be changed. So really how you make it is completely up to you. I'm gonna show you the way that I've been doing it the last couple of weeks. And I sometimes eat it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Quite often it's used during an Ayurvedic cleanse, but I just think it's delicious. And I, like I said, I can eat it for every single meal. To make my kitchery, I start with one cup of basmati rice, and this is just white basmati rice, and I rinse and cook that according to package directions. I have one half cup of yellow split mung beans, which are also known as mung dal, and I like to soak these. So if I'm short on time, I can just soak them while the rice is cooking, but if I know I'm gonna make kitchery later in the day, I start soaking my mung beans earlier in the day. For the spices, we'll start at the top and go clockwise. I've got cumin seeds, turmeric powder, black pepper, cumin powder, cardamom powder, fennel seeds, cinnamon, fenugreek powder, two green cardamom pods, and two whole cloves. And all of this will be in the description box down below as well as on my blog on my website. I also need six cups of vegetable broth as well as any assortment of vegetables. You can use whatever you like. Today I've got yellow and orange carrots. I've got some mixed greens, which I think are kale, chard, and spinach, some little frozen peas, and some fresh cilantro. I like to cook my basmati rice in a shallow saute type pan. I think it turns out better this way. And I also like to season it. You don't need to do this part, but I'm using some local spicery. It's like a French curry mix, just to give it a little bit of flavor. Then when I'm ready to make the kitchery, I just add some water to my pan and put my spices in there. And over medium heat, I saute my spices for a couple of minutes. Then I add in my rice and my soaked, rinsed and drained mung dal, and I mix those together with the spice mixture. Then I add in my vegetable broth and my vegetables. I give everything a good stir to mix in all those delicious spices. Then I raise the heat and bring it to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, I put the lid on the pan, lower it to simmer, and allow it to cook for about 35 to 40 minutes. After 35 to 40 minutes, it looks like this. It has a bit of a porridge-like consistency, and sometimes I eat it like this, but oftentimes I like it a little bit more on the soupy side, so I'll add a little water or vegetable broth till I get the consistency that I like. To serve, top with your favorite plain yogurt or plant-based yogurt, and I also like to sprinkle some fresh cilantro over the top. Sometimes I add a little bit of chutney or jam with some red pepper flakes, and maybe a spritz of lime juice. Now, I like my kitchery on the brothy side because this is how my instructor served it. I've also made it where it's more like a porridge. Either way is absolutely fine. I just prefer it a little bit more soupy. So I add a little bit more vegetable broth or water to it just to get the consistency that I like after everything has been cooked. And then you can add your... Uh, your yogurt of choice, your plant yogurt of choice. I love cilantro, I always put it on top. So let's give this a try. Mm. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> mm. It's one of the cardamom pods. That's the thing, there's two cardamom pods and two cloves in here. Somebody will find them, trust me. I always chomp down on these things. 
but if you can find them while you're putting it into dishes or into your storage container, make sure you fish those out because you don't want to eat those. This is phenomenal. I'm obsessed with it. This is why I eat this three times a day sometimes. And it's really easy to make. If you already have all of your stuff at the ready, you've got your spices all portioned out, you've soaked your mung beans, you've cooked your rice, this comes together in less than 40 minutes for a really wholesome dinner. And it makes tons of leftovers, so they're really easy to heat up for a quick lunch or dinner for the next couple of nights. So there you have it. There's my kitchery. Just a couple of small updates before I end this video. My cookbook is going to be officially published this year, which I still can't believe I still haven't wrapped my head around this yet, but it's happening and we're very excited about it. I just had a few updates to make to the cookbook, which I'm almost done with. Then I need to get the manuscript to the publisher and then hopefully by fall, we will have an officially published cookbook that will be available all over the world. And the other little thing I've been working on is this journal and it's called Life's Little Pockets of Joy, a Journal of Gratitude, Wonder, and Contentment. Um, this is the front of this was the the one I made a long time ago, but I'll try to put a picture over here of how it looks now. And then there's the back that I initially came up with. And then this is a picture of the, the actual one now. And the other little creative project I've been working on is this journal called Life's Little Pockets of Joy, a journal of gratitude, wonder, and contentment. And when I went through my yoga teacher training, my life transformed in a lot of ways and the way that I live my life has changed. One of the things I started doing was writing down the moments that happened in my life that I find joyful because I wanted to hang on to and remember these moments as long as I could. And sometimes I had to look for them, but they're there. And I came up with this little journal for myself and started writing in it. And then I thought, well, well, maybe I should just create one and sell it. I think other people would like to use something like this too. So that's why I created this little journal and I was initially designing a guided journal because I like those too where they give you prompts and little inspirational sayings throughout the journal. But as I was writing in mine, I really appreciated the blank pages because I like to get creative and sometimes I use different colored pens or pencils or markers or stickers or attach a photo or draw a picture. Um, and my creativity came out in different ways. And sometimes I wanted to write down something that I had learned. Sometimes I wanted to write down something that happened that day, you know, so I liked having the blank pages and that's why I left the journal blank, decided to not do a guided journal this time. There's a little bit of text in the beginning just to explain why I made the journal and how to use it, but there's 100 blank pages in here for people to just get their thoughts out and capture those little moments of joy in whatever way that you want to be creative. So this was originally how I designed it. I'll try to put a picture over here of how the final product now looks and the back cover too looks a little bit different. So I'll try to put a picture over here of the final design, but I'm really in love with it. I just, I love colors. I love rainbows and I love celestial objects. I love nature. So that's why I designed it this way. So these will be $12 once they're ready. They're at the publishers right now getting printed. I ordered 50 of them to start with. So we'll see how things go and I can always order more if I have to, but they will be $12. They'll be on my website hopefully soon. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing how I make my kitchery. And now I'm very excited because I have kitchery to eat for the next several days, but I hope you guys give it a try and enjoy it as much as I do. Or if you already know how to make kitchery and have your own recipe, I would love to hear in the comments how you do it because I'm always looking to try new things with this and I'd be interested to know how you do it. All right. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you guys have a great week and I will see you in the next video.